You heard Brian mention earlier, last night's storm caused some minor damage across the Piedmont. Right. For more on that, we're going to go to meteorologist Gina DeVecchio, who is in the Weather Center. Gina, good morning. I slept through it, but I go to bed at like 7.30 at night. So. True. And I went to bed around 6 o'clock and then popped out of bed at 9. And I wanted to watch those storms, but no, couldn't do it. I had to get back to bed. So many of you may have woken up to that. We did have a very loud event last night from about 7 o'clock to 11 o'clock at night. So right now you're taking a look at that radar loop from that five hour period beginning around six in Wilkes County, Yadkin County, and southern Surrey County, and then that's when they became severe warned. Now they continued to move towards the east, and with that, we had some very gusty winds and trees were down throughout the afternoon or throughout the morning. Now you can see some video of those trees down, and we did see the gusty winds. A wind report of 56 mile per hour was reported in North Wilkesboro, and those winds did continue to gust between 40 and 60 miles per hour on the front edge of those storms. Some of you sent in your U local photos, and here's one from Mount Airy. That tree is down. Luckily, did not fall on the house, but as we mentioned earlier, there were some power outages because of those trees down. Taking a look at another picture, you can see this car. I think barely dodged this tree. This was also in Surrey County around Mount Airy, and then one more in Kernersville of that lightning. There was a lot of frequent lightning and those gusty winds. As Brian mentioned, another concern for those strong to severe storms again this afternoon and this late evening. So be sure to stay weather aware throughout this afternoon and evening. Live in the Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Gina DeVecchio, WXII 12 News. All right, thank you, Gina. And when severe weather strikes, you can stay one step ahead of the storm. All you have to do is log on to WXII12.com or check out the WXII12 mobile app. You'll have instant access to our interactive radar and the latest forecast and alerts.